I want to tell people about this. I want to want to bury the lead, but I have a lot to tell you about this. So the thing is, the U.S. Progressive Caucus, the Congressive Caucus, right, the Progressive Congressional Caucus, but that includes the squad, they endorsed a corporate Democrat against Nina Turner. Now, who was Nina Turner? N- Nina Turner is like the loudest last hope for people who are voting, progressives voting Democrat. She's their last hope. Even though she has indicated she is going to be exactly like the rest of the squad, this is their people's last hope to vote Democrat. She's got to do it. Once Nina Turner gets in there, she's going to do it, right? Now, she got endorsed when she ran in a special election in Ohio. She got endorsed by the Progressive Caucus and, um, well, Pramila Jayapal. Her leadership is proud to receive the endorsement from Mila Jayapal. She is the leader of the Progressive Caucus, and she endorsed her in her. But then what happened? Well, Chantel Brown, that's who she was running against, the corporate Democrat. What happened? After Turner aired an advertisement touting her support for Medicare for All, corporate lobbyists, including those representing Big Pharma, held a fundraiser for Brown. And the anti-Medicare for All lawmaker, Jim Clyburn, in her intervened to support her campaign. So the shit lib Democrats and Big Pharma got together to go against Nina Turner and for this corporate Democrat. The DMFI PAC and the corporatist dark money group Third Way spent $2.4 million promoting Brown and opposing Turner. Even so, and then she won. The corporate Democrat beat Turner. Even so, the Congress- Congressional Progressive Caucus welcomed Brown with open arms. She also joined the Congressional Progressive Caucus Adversary Caucus, the New Democrat Coalition, which includes several congressional. So she's also a blue dog Democrat. She's in both. (laughs) She's a blue dog Democrat, which is a conservative Democrat, and she's in the Progressive Caucus. You shouldn't be allowed in both. And they let her in anyway. Uh, By the way, she also um, she also got support from an Ohio Republicans to beat her. Ohio Republicans voted for her, and she got a contractor that she had awarded $17 million to as a city counselor, a potential tit-for-tat that resulted in an ethics probe. So she lost, but before she... But she still supported the squad. This is Nina Turner supporting the squad. Remember when we were doing Force the Vote? When we figured out here at this show that there was enough people in the squad that they could block legislation. There were such narrow margins in the House that the squad actually had power, and they couldn't pass legislation without the votes of the squad, meaning AOC, Pramila Jayapal, uh, Ro Khanna, uh, you know, the Mark Poe, all the people in the squad, and called progressives, right? Okay. Ilhan Omar, uh, Ayanna Presley, you know who they are. So they had to, and so they were supposed to withhold their vote for Nancy Pelosi as speaker. She couldn't become speaker without their vote, and they had to get something for their vote. That's how politics works, one on one. So we decided, because we helped them get elected, we decided what we wanted them to ask for was a vote on Medicare for all, since we're in the middle of a deadly pandemic, and it would be bad optics for someone to vote against it in this. So I had a good chance to build momentum for Medicare for all. I had a good chance to build momentum for Medicare for all. They wouldn't do it. The squad wouldn't do it. They sold out and they lied and gaslit. Pramila Jayapal said that if they had a vote on Medicare for all, it would end the movement for Medicare for all. Just making stuff up, stuff that is a, it, there's no historical evidence for. Wait, we, <laughs> Jamila PayPal said that? Yeah. <laughs> that it would end Medicare She for said all. that it would end Medicare for all. Uh, so people were like us, were criticizing the squad for not doing what they said and telling people to stop voting for Democrats and stop donating to them, right? Now, other people were saying you have to be nicer. Here's what she said. Here's what here's what Nina Turner said when the, when the squad was supporting her and, and they weren't supporting us. When the squad had turned its back on us and didn't do anything, this is what she said. It's okay to be disappointed, but the the squad is the is 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 ultimately the best that we have in terms of being able to push an agenda. And what that means so is nothing. that you might not always. Agree. So what that means is we have nothing. If they're the so, best, then we have nothing. 
So this is her. This is what's called gaslighting. So this is Nina Turner, and oh, she's gaslighting, which is another name for lying. So she's bullshitting you about the uh, squad. And here it comes. See, with the methods, I need people to understand that when you are on the inside, it doesn't mean that you are selling out. I, I know they, they've gotten a lot of pressure, but they are the ones up there holding it down. They, they're, they're Holding what down? Yeah, what are you talking about? What are you? You're just making up words now. They didn't, they didn't hold down any, holding it down. They didn't hold down anything. They didn't use their leverage to get a vote on Medicare for all. They didn't use their leverage to get a $15 minimum wage. They didn't use their leverage to get student debt relief. They didn't use their leverage to get marijuana uh, relief. They didn't use their they didn't use their leverage for anything. They didn't do anything. <laughs> hold, they're holding it down. You know what they're holding down? A vote to give $2 billion more to the cops. They held that down. You know what they held down? A bill to give uh, more billions of dollars to the Iron Dome. They held that good. down. What have <laughs> they held say. down? They've done nothing. So this is and this is so this is why it's kind of funny that the progressives have their uh, uh, Bush in a knot over this, for lack of a better term. It's just funny because she <laughs> because she's already told you this is a year ago. She already is telling you. She's going to go and be just like the squad, which means if she was elected already, she would be endorsing other corporate Democrats over people like her. That's why it's so mean what they did to her, because she could have been holding it down. That's right. Her. She could have been holding it down, too. It's so mean. Here, what? let's listen more. They're pushing as hard as they can. And just because things she said that squad is pushing as hard as they can. So this is just a hundred miles an hour bullshit coming your way. OK. And and why is she doing this? She's doing this to defend politicians who are uh, turning their back on voters. OK, well, she's they're pushing as hard as they can and still being able to be invited to parties. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> without they're pushing as hard as they can and not without it's I'm going to push as far as I can push right up into where I'll get my Met Gala invitation taken yeah. away. Then I, that's where I stop pushing. You don't understand what it's like. Yeah. yeah. OK, here we go. They're not going exactly the way just because they're not using the exact tactics that some listen, listen to in this. the activist community want them to use. Is that that the ones they, they, they said? You mean the tactics that they ran on that they said they would do? You mean those tactics? That's a this, this is amazing. So this is called garbage and propaganda and bullshit and gaslighting. And it's an insult. This is insulting. Because guess what? If you're throwing away members of the squad who are our best opportunity to get what we need and also miss some <laughs> members of that progressive caucus, Who's then the Amish you're not going to have anybody there. So if the prerequisite the in summation, Good point, the English. prerequisite for relationship <laughs> means that I have to do or the squad has to do everything you say, the way you say do it, then there's not much of a relationship. At all. Just, oh no. My God. Oh, oh, my God. Is that So do you see how she's. So this is her uh, making excuses for politicians who sold out, sold you out and did nothing you know, for you. Right. Uh, and I was tuning out because it was so insulting. But what the really is getting me is this guy nodding along like, <laughs> yes, I am swallowing this. <laughs> and and, and that, uh, you're going to be disappointed. Hell, they're going to be disappointed with me. <laughs> Yes. I, I'm disappointed with you already. The, the, <laughs> everything you just said was already a disappointment. I'm already disappointed. And immediately after this, she started tweeting about access to health care instead of Medicare for all. That's where she started going. OK, here we go. Here we go. I said that to Tim Black when we interviewed. I'm saying it to you, Mike. I want them to know you're going to be disappointed at some point. This is her campaign speech. I'm going to disappoint you. Vote for me. <laughs> what? I'm not going to hold their feet to the fire. Vote for me. This oh, my God. If she ever goes against that guy from Colorado, it'll be a real. It'll be a real great. <laughs> but that does not mean that you give up totally on the people who are the best <laughs> fighting chance that you have. And then there's something called strategy. <laughs> so and, you know, our strategy of never using our leverage, but just saying strategy in a really condescending way, uh, as if you don't know that I'm bullshitting you right now. <laughs> strategy. What's their fucking strategy, you gaslighting bullshitter? What's their strategy? Whoa. What was their strategy? They didn't have a strategy. And you know what their strategy ultimately was? Their strategy ultimately was to not endorse you. <laughs> and they're going to endorse your corporate opponent who takes big pharma money and and 
campaigns with Republicans. That's who those people who you're defending right now over activists like me. That's what they just did to you. They just stuck a knife in your back and turned it. And what did you get for doing this? You got nothing. You lost your credibility by doing this. Congratulations. You went on to start down. You yeah, you're holding you down now. (laughs) You're holding you down. (laughs) So she already revealed who she is. This is bullshit. Right. And now Pramila, she, this is after Pramila Jayapal said if we had a vote on Medicare for all, it would end the movement. This is just making up garbage. People would magically get health care. If you, yeah. If you don't, push if, you, if you don't have a vote on Medicare for all, it helps us get Medicare for all. It's the craziest thing you ever heard. And that's what she's defending. That's what she's defending. So she already tipped her hand. Here we go. The grassroots strategy is different than the strategy once you are on the inside. Strategy. You will know oh, when somebody is sold out. Strategy. And I assure you that the squad has not, underline, bold, underscore, sold out. They just endorsed the corporatist as running against you. Underline, in bold, Wait. they just endorsed the corporatist running against you. Underline, in bold, all <laughs> caps. Is I, a question, is this... Is she saying this after this, this happened is a, or before? No, this is a year ago. This oh, is before. Oh I'm so yeah. So this this was after forced the vote. This is her strategy. Oh, okay. And, I just want to make sure. Yeah. I'm like she's not talking like this after they just did no, it like that. Right? No. Oh my no, god. No. Here, there's a little more. Anyway, they need the grassroots. <laughs> you can hold hold them accountable, but you don't throw them away. I'm- well, so and they never say what does that mean? Hold them accountable. That was the question I asked all through force the vote. What is our mechanism to hold the squad accountable when they don't do this? We knew they weren't going to do it. But I said, and I kept asking panel after panel of good progressives, what's our strategy to hold them accountable? They'd had no strategy. I asked Kyle Kalinske, who was the founder of the Justice Democrats, what's our strategy to hold them accountable? He said, we don't have a strategy. I said, when are you going to hold them accountable? And he said, we're not. (laughs) You're not going to do anything? He said, no. (laughs) That was that. And then they and then he went on to tell people to be nicer to the squad that I was wrong and that you have to be nicer to them. Well, here she is being nicer to them and they just endorsed the biggest corporatist hack in the world against her. Wait, why did they, I don't understand why she's calling them grassroots, the squad. No, no, she's saying oh. that the grassroots, like people like us, the organizers, that uh, just because we have our own strategy, they have their strategy and they need oh. the grassroots. Yeah, I know they need the grassroots, Nina. That's why they're supposed to do what we tell them to do. We'll lead from Twitter. Yeah. Uh, and send you a flexi arm when you get something yeah. <laughs> done without any help. Some of the pressures, <laughs> even with Congresswoman Cory Bush, I would just want to use her as the example. I mean, she just got there. Hell, overall, the squad members overall Whoa. just got there. Even They just got there. And let no, them get settled. Let them get settled in. Let them lose the House to the Republicans ah. in November. And then after a couple of more election cycles, they'll know what they're doing. Oh, it's this so is gross, such. Man. This is gross. Uh, oh, That's wow. gross. Because that's really like bold face, like, hey, this is about me and my career. That's like, right. Too. Don't forget. That's it's right. mostly that. So I got to be secure. <laughs> so here, that's a little bit more. Ones who've been there a little longer. And then you have people just throwing up their hands, throwing them away just because they're not using the tactics that you want them to use. You don't know what is going on. It's- so that's her tell- health care. You- <laughs> no, I know what's going on. I want health care and they won't force a vote for it. That's what's going on. You liar. And here's what's here's why I love this. When politicians refuse to do what they ran on while capitulating to corruption, it absolutely means we throw them away. They blew it. I will throw away Nina Turner away in a heartbeat if she betrays us. That was Apocalypse David saying that. Well, guess what? She got beat to it by uh, the squad. The squad. The squad <laughs> threw Nina Turner away. Guess who threw Nina Turner away? Pramila Jayapal and the Progressive Caucus. Oh, wow. That's who threw her away. She's yeah. saying, don't throw the squad away. They threw <laughs> you away. And guess who else they threw away? The grassroots. <laughs> they threw everything away. Which And so that's why 
Unapolog- unapologetic said, some don't want to hear it, but Nina Turner will go to Congress and turn into a regular incrementalism loving status quo defending Democrat. It's absurd to spend more time browbeating people with no health care than criticizing politicians who ran on Medicare for all, but opposed a floor vote. I'll read that again. It's absurd to spend more time browbeating people with no health care, which is what she's doing. Than criticizing politicians who ran on Medicare for all, but opposing a floor vote. So she's wagging her fingers at people without health care who want them to do something about it. And why, what is she doing? She's defending the people who won't help them get health care. How'd that work out for you? They didn't endorse you anyway. <laughs> oh, my God. That's funny. They National, didn't endorse you anyway. Now she'll never get a Netflix deal. Now she'll never get a Netflix deal. <laughs> uh, Compton J tweeted out, are you surprised that Pramila Jayapel and the Progressive Caucus is supporting Chantel Brown over Nina Turner? Uh, and I didn't I didn't get a chance. I went back to look for that. I think they deleted this. I would love to see what the results were. I couldn't. Can you see if you can find the results? I couldn't find them. David Sirota. Even David Sirota, who who tried to find a way to defend the squad around force to vote. Did a poor job of it, but um, even he's had it. Even he's had it. He said, let's be clear. This is very likely Pramila Jayapel selling out the entire movement because of her unbridled ambitions to get a fancy but meaningless leadership title among a House Democratic caucus that will be obliterated in the midterm elections. A total betrayal on every level. So. David Sirota is saying that Pramila Jayapal, the head of the Progressive Caucus, is selling out, that's what he used the word, selling out the entire movement. And what is she selling it out for? Her own career ambitions. Now, Kyle Kalinske will tell you that's not corruption because she's not taking corporate money. Although we did find out, uh, we'll do another video where she is taking corporate money. Uh, but he would say that's not, co- co- by definition, that's not co- corruption because they don't take corporate money but that doesn't have anything to do with the definition of corrupt that's corrupt when you sell out the people who elected you and you turn your back on your policies that you've endorsed and your supporters endorsed for your own personal advancement in your career that's called corrupt that's the definition of corrupt not that bullshit definition that kyle kalinsky tried to make everyone tried to gaslight you with that's a gaslight this is real that David Sirota is correct. This is real corruption. Not that gaslighting definition that the founder of the Justice Democrats gave you to protect the squad. This is it. She's selling out for her own personal career advancement. That's corruption. Uh, so, oh, by, this is what the Progressive Caucus said. This is how they justified it. Evan Brown, executive director of the Congressional Progressive Caucus PAC, told The Lever, endorsements are put to the PAC for consideration when the incumbent Congressional Progressive Caucus member requests it. And the Congressional Progressive Caucus PAC regularly endorses members who ask. So Chantel Brown was allowed to be a member of the Congressional Progressive Caucus, even though she's in bed with big pharma Republicans and many other nefarious corporatists. And so she asked them to endorse her, and so they did. That's that's their excuse. She asked us. But what about if there's a more progressive person running? That's not what this is about. <laughs> wow, they really did Nina Turner dirty. That's so... Uh, they did. They did. Well, Nina oof. Turner did us dirty by defending them when they were selling us out at record speed. And now they just did that to her. It's kind of funny. So just to remind you who Pramila Jayapal is, this is what this is what she said about uh, President Biden. This is true. President now President Biden hasn't done anything. He didn't. He didn't uh, do anything. He ran on. Didn't give you the two thousand dollar check. He didn't give you the fifteen dollar minimum wage. He didn't give you student debt relief. He didn't end the war. He didn't do anything. He didn't do medical. He didn't do marijuana. He didn't do anything. Did he promise, though, to eventually shake hands with an invisible man on stage? I think he, I think he did promise that. <laughs> so, here, so here's what she said. I think President Biden has risen to the moment, and I really do give him an A 
in what he's done so far. <laughs> I think President Biden. <laughs> <laughs> so do you see what you're doing when you vote for Democrats? Do you see what you're doing? That's the most that's the head of the progressive caucus. So over the past year, under Jayapal's direction, the organization has worked closely with the Democratic establishment with few clear legislative victories to show for it. So the pro progressive caucus and the squad have been working closely with the Democratic establishment. What did they get out of it? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, I'm sorry. They got advanced in their own careers. That's what they got. Brianna Joy Gray asked the question. So she's Bernie Sanders, former press secretary, says it will be interesting to see which leftists signal support for Nina Turner over the next few days and which remain silent in the wake of the Congressional Progressive Caucus endorsement. Any word from the squad yet? Well, as of this taping, no. So maybe the squad would come out and support Nina Turner and go against the progressive caucus chair. Not happening. <laughs> Not happening as of this recording. I hope it does happen. We'll see what happens. It doesn't matter if it happens or not. We, you already saw that Nina Turner already indicated she's going to become just like them when she gets there. <laughs> holding it down. <laughs> uh, hold, holding it down. And I just want to remind you, AOC was the one who gave us the idea to have a Medicare for all vote. She said Medicare for all has been on the floor of the Congress since 2003. The bill is 15 years old. A stream of studies from both left and right have shown that funding the mechanism immense cost savings for Medicare for all. Almost every modern nation. So this is what that's how they used to think. And right. then when they had a chance to get a, a vote on that, they of course they did it. They they uh, succumbed to the leadership, to the establishment. And He's right. Stop donating to Justice Democrats. It's not rational to fight for politicians who never fight for you. So there you go. I guess Katie Porter also is endorsed. Is that because she's part of the Congressional Caucus? Uh, we have. I'd love to hear from Katie Porter. See what Katie, who Katie Porter is endorsing. I have a strong feeling she's going to disappoint. We'll see. Hey, by the <laughs> way, none of this matters. It doesn't <laughs> fucking matter if Nina Turner gets elected or not. It really doesn't. Uh, she's better than Chantel Brown, but she's already indicated she's going to become uh, whatever the squad wants her to be, whatever the leadership wants her to be. And it's funny they turned her back on her. Isn't that amazing? That's nice. funny. I didn't turn my back on her. They turned their back on her. It's like an hilarious. <laughs> so and that's called karma, I think. So when... Nina Turner gaslights and lies to protect politicians from their grassroots supporters that hard. And then they come back to stick a knife in her back or in her front. They stuck a knife in her front. I guess I think that's called karma. <laughs> OK, over to Steph. OK, um, actually, she found you the Compton J poll. She'll send it to you right now so you can look. Oh, at what it. was the result? What was the result? Tell tell them the result. You can just tell me the result. People saying they're not surprised. Eighty percent. <laughs> said they're not surprised uh only 12 percent said they were surprised uh no it turns out 87 percent said they're not surprised only 13 percent said they were come see a live stand-up show or be in orlando tampa cleveland columbus pittsburgh las vegas omaha des moines everywhere go to jimmydorkami.com for a link for our live show tickets also become a premium member get access to all our extra stuff and help support the show See you at a live show. Single tickets now available. Single tickets available.